Too fast, too furious. Too garbage. I am so glad they stopped titling movies like this. I hate this. When they use numbers. Step up. And well, or, when they use the yeah, the, the the sequence in the title. Yeah, yeah. What about like, like when they too fast, too furious? The third movie of each step franchise up to the is streets. a three D movie. A three D. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say I, I'm kind of surprised this didn't do that. Um, I think part of it was because Tokyo Drift, it being the third movie, is kind of outside of the main story that they didn't want to call it Fast and Furious 3. Yeah. But had it been Paul Walker's story, I definitely think it would have been Fast and the Furious 3D mm. or something along those lines. Three Fast, Three Furious D. <laughs> um, what do you think about Too Fast, Too Furious? This sucked. Did so it? So bad. There's, this, one is, this one is tough. This one is... Worse than the first. Much worse. But better than the third. Oh, that is but that is not that's not what I want to hear. <laughs> we I'm telling you, I, I mean I've told you all, all all along. Number three is rough. But once you get through that, there's a there's a shining light at the end of the I tunnel. Can't wait it till starts getting better. Fourth fast, fourth furious. <laughs> that one is uh fast and furious. Oh. Yeah, I'll tell you the I'll give you the rundown here. Oh, Let me see. Boy. We got, uh, I had a list somewhere. Fast and Furious uh, so 2, the, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> the Fast and the Furious, Too Fast, Too Furious, The Fast and the Furious, Tokyo Drift, Fast and Furious, Fast 5. Just Fast 5? Oh, fast 5. Okay. Fast and Furious 6, Furious 7, The Fate of the Furious. Ugh. And they did, for fate, they would use F8. Of course. A lot. Why not? Um, but Too Fast, Too Furious picks up a few months after the first movie. Paul Walker has run away from Los Angeles to Miami and is now a, uh, a street racer there. He's become a criminal, given up his ways, and is hiding from the police in Miami uh, just trying to survive. When he gets picked up uh, by the cops to help help them catch a uh, was he a drug lord? What was he doing? He was importing something, he, which is just money. I don't know if they really said. They just knew he had a lot of money, so they were trying to figure yeah. out why. Is the customs U.S. customs, which seemed like a weird uh, department to use. Like I felt like FBI would have made more sense. Like, yeah, I don't know. Customs just sounds like people trying to catch you at the, at the border, the airport, bringing As seeds it, like, and stuff. If he you was know? like bringing stuff from out of the country in, or you know, smuggling it out, then I get it. But it, I, I, it did. It didn't fit with the the character. No, it didn't seem like customs would have been the right choice to. No, it's just be against them, but. Uh, so I mean it's a pretty small gripe but uh, yeah just a drop in the bucket of gripes I have um, but yeah so the US Customs gets a hold of uh, Brian O'Connor's old uh, boss in LA and they come out and they're talking to him like we need your help and he's like I'll only do it if I can choose the other driver and this is when Tyrese comes into the movie and the fight between Paul Walker and Tyrese, I think, is the best moment of this whole movie. When oh, because they're, they're fighting they're, like the, kids. They're fighting like kids, but he's just like, "You still fight like crap. You still fight like crap." And they're just like rolling around on the ground trying to punch each other and stuff like that. It just felt like old friends fighting, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you're you're mad. You're trying to hurt each other, but you're not trying to damage right. each yeah. other. You're not trying to kill each other. And they're like so playful with it all and stuff like that. It was just like a a good time, and that their relationship, their chemistry on screen is the best part of this whole movie. Better than the stunts, better than the racing, better than any of the story. That anytime they're together, like joking around or like playing around, mm -hmm. it just feels fun, which I think again is the best part of Too Fast, Too Furious. Uh, I don't. But so they. Uh, I, what are you say? You don't like Tyrese because he's black? Is that what you were saying? 
No, Tyrese wasn't bad. Paul Paul Walker was bad again. Paul Walker was so broy in this movie. <sighs> it was a little rough. Cole Hauser was awful. Um is that the dad from Dexter? No, that's James Remar. He was fine. James Remar. Cole Hauser was Cole the main Hauser. bad guy. Oh, okay. Uh, what else is he in? Cole Hauser. Ugh, I couldn't even tell you. I Nothing great. Let me see. Cole Hauser is in... Goodwill Hunting, Dazed and Confused, Rogue. It's always concerning when the their top four, because you can select that. Yeah. Or like unknown. Jar Jarhead Two. Oh. Filled a fire. Okay. Um. Chronicles of Riddick, the Ugh. video game. <laughs> wow, that is prestigious. <laughs> ER, Too Fast, Too Furious, Goodwill Hunting. Goodwill Hunting's a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> School Ties, Days and Confused. I haven't seen either of those. Um, but yeah, so they get hired on by Cole Hauser to uh, deliver money so he can uh, get it out of the country. Here's now. I have so many issues with this plot, but I want to start yeah. at the beginning. It was so dumb. So there's this street race, and they're prepping for it. And then all these. Re- this is what. This is more what I was talking about when I was talking about like these ridiculous, stupid-looking cars. They look so stupid to me. They look like yeah. toys. Um, well, and- so I watched the director's commentary on this one. Uh-huh. And well, before I did that, I watched it. And I was like, man, this feels like. The race feels like Speed Racer and PlayStation One video games. Yeah, like the the style and then the, the CGI lights. and all this stuff. And I watched the director commentary, and he said I was trying to make this look like Gran Turismo and Speed Racer, <laughs> and my mind just exploded. I was like, I cannot believe one he chose that because it looks so bad. Yeah. And two, that, that right? he did it so well That's, that I knew exactly to... <laughs> what it was going for. I I thought, I was like, wow, this is so bad that it looks like this. Then I found out, no, that was the intention. And he was at the, the same intention time was was thinking, to look like man, that. this looks so good. It's like speed racing. Yeah, in the whole, in the, uh, in the commentary, he'd be like, oh, this is CGI. This is real. This is CGI. But it's really hard to tell when you're a viewer and you don't know... You know, it, it all happened so fast. It's hard to tell what's what. I was like, no, no, it's not. It's very, very clear when it's CGI, when it's practical. And this is this, like I was saying in, in our last podcast, uh, the showcase of stunts is what makes these movies cool. This was like so much CGI. It was not interesting to even watch the car stuff. The, the one with the one uh, car scene that was pretty cool was when they were doing the tag team drag race and Paul Walker plays chicken with the guy. Like that that whole race feels important, right? Like you're like, oh, this. how are they going to pull this off? There doesn't seem any way at that point. Yeah. And then when they play chicken, oh, there we go. When they play chicken, it's like, oh, wow, that was creative. That seemed like something new or something I haven't seen before. Um, but other than that, this movie was pretty boring. Yeah, no, it sucks. I... So they're, they're <laughs> so they're doing this street race and they are missing someone. Mm-hmm. So then, of course, uh, Luda is like, "Hey, <laughs> let me call this dude, this guy who's like a uh, low profile," and he's just like, "Yeah, man, you know, I need the money." And so he goes to the race, and the, but he's like a legend out there. Like they see him and they're like, "Oh, yeah. great!" It's Brian. It's Brian. <laughs> Uh, so then it's him versus three other racers. There's the mm-hmm. dude from Prison Break and Sucre. Sucre. I don't know his name. Yeah, is. I don't think he has one, and I don't care. Then there was the <laughs> the girl who was also from Sin City, and there was her, her name was Suki in this. Suki, yes. Yeah. 
<laughs> the guy who plays Sucre. Yeah. I'll give you a thousand dollars if you can guess his name in this movie. Okay. Uh, it's it's going to be something like I don't know, Ronaldo. Orange Julius. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or, so, see, that's that's what I'm talking about. That's so stupid. The other guy was Slapjack. Slapjack. I love mm-hmm. I love when there's like minor characters with little to no role, but they have these yeah. nicknames that like in, implied that there's like some big background and why they Backstory, have this yeah. nickname. And no, it's yeah. like, uh, but we're not going to tell you about it because it's stupid. <laughs> Nobody cares. Uh, yeah, no, that race. But he, that race was not very good. No, let me tell you why it bothered me. It was like two races right. going on. But only one of them technically mattered, so they put up. They all put up thirty five thousand, which is a a I, random. I think they number. put up thirty five hundred. Thirty five hundred. Oh, I thought he said thirty five G's. He said thirty five large, but he won ten thousand dollars. Okay, thirty five large though. That should be should be thirty five thousand. I agree. <laughs> yeah, thirty five hundred would cause be had... thirty five small. <laughs> medium yeah 35 yeah medium, medium. small is just 35 dollars uh, because <laughs> i had a problem with that i was like oh wow that's a lot of money and they 35, all just 000. had it like, in their pockets here's, mm-hmm. 3, here's ten thousand yeah, dollars that makes more sense yeah fine that's fine but yeah so it's like this race right and but paul walker and uh slapstick what'd you say his name was yeah the black guy uh yes slapjack slapjack Slapjack. they were like you know ranked one and two like throughout this whole thing and then you got sucre and uh suki three and four but like still they're trying to make it like it's high stakes i'm like no y'all lost you both lost and you lost your money (laughs) there's no like third and fourth place prize you're not even going to get second place. Well, uh, they probably did because that dude crashed. But like, it, it was so dumb to me that they were trying to make it even interesting at all. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. The uh, I was like, could you imagine if you were racing and someone raised the bridge up on you to make it exciting? Oh. Like, that could kill you exactly. or destroy it your car. It would definitely destroy your car. And these cars, they're all lowered, so none of them have suspension. Mm-mm. As soon as they hit the ground, you're gonna you're it's gonna wipe just, out. You're gonna spin out. Yeah, you're gonna you, fish tail. You're gonna you're gonna. It's gonna be ugly. Yeah, it's uh, not. It's definitely not gonna feel good. Oh, it's just. It's gonna imagine hurt. just dropping. You know, twenty feet just right on your tailbone. That's what it's gonna feel like. Well, I was thinking almost more like you know how like. It's it's something you don't maybe notice as much as a kid, but as an adult, if you have to drop down from something like a wall, even just it's it's so uncomfortable to think just landing on your feet, right? Because it's like it's mm-hmm. gonna send those shock waves up your body. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, uh, it's like <laughs> watching it's like watching a sports movie where like mm. <laughs> first place is already like settled. Second place is up there, and like maybe they have a chance at first place. And you're watching two teams in the division fight for third and fourth, but then try to make yeah, it high it'd be, stakes. It'd be like watching a movie about the Braves. Uh, you mean the first place Braves? I don't think so. <laughs> and there is a movie about the Braves uh, it's called Trouble with the Curve. Clint Eastwood. Awful, awful movie. Okay. You know what? There's an even better movie called fever pitch with jimmy fallon what about it irrelevant it's just better (laughs) so i hate jimmy fallon though it's a shame it wasn't someone else who would you have rather seen in that role uh uh, you know what jimmy fallon didn't do a bad job in that movie no i thought he was fine think about it yeah i i don't like jimmy fallon the person like on on his show now like he annoys me to no end but in that movie he actually fit pretty well right and i think he was a legit uh red sox fan which helps uh yeah i believe so 
But anyways. So it's, it's, it's just so dumb when movies do that, try to put high stakes on something that doesn't matter. It just is like, yeah. this is so pointless. I don't care. Like it could, yeah. it could come down to like a, a photo finish and a like, who cares? You guys lost. No one's even yeah. watching well, I at mean, this point. The, the big point between the final two was the bridge jump. That was what they were putting the tension on. Are they going to try it or not? And if you're number four, even if you're number three. If I'm not number one, do I'm it. not doing it. Yeah. Like, that's it's just crazy. It's way too dangerous, but it's all about the thrill of the sport, man. You got you to gotta do it. You got to do what you got to do. So, yeah, that was stupid. He wins, of course. <laughs> yes. And... Oh, uh, I, hmm. <laughs> I don't know. What do you feel about Ludacris in this movie? Uh, he was fine. Who, yeah, he did a better job than Ja Rule did in the first oh, one. Oh, yeah, for sure. I, that When he screams, Monica! <laughs> in the first one. I don't remember When that. he gets past, when he's in, he's in third place and gets passed in the fourth, and he starts screaming because that one girl was like, Oh, if, you know, I'm with you no matter what. But if you win, you get me and my friend. And he was in third and got passed to fourth. And he starts screaming her name because he wasn't, he didn't have a chance anymore. <laughs> I don't remember that. It, but I was like, it was just like you were saying, like, you, you know, you were losing anyways. You weren't coming in first. <laughs> yeah, it, it's just so stupid. So, anyways, yeah. then we have anyways. the, oh, I like how. He just finished this street race where they're reaching speeds of like 170, 180, mm -hmm. uh, yet they cannot escape the cops. In the same vehicles. <laughs> Where's all that NOS, bro? Can't escape the cops. Didn't I thought they they didn't escape? He got caught? Yeah, the James Remar That's when he got caught. shoots the side of his car with like that electrical thing. Which, oh, um, yeah, they made that up. Yeah, I was going to say, that's, I'm curious that thing, to know if that's a real possibility. Seems like no. I don't know if it is now, but at the time, they were just like, it's like an EMP. this seems like it could exist. Yeah. Yeah, it shuts down the, the um, computer chip in the engine. But like, so just drive an old car and you'll be fine. Yeah. Don't drive anything with a computer chip in it. Yeah, pretty much. Because it can't shut down the, the mechanical stuff. Like... What do you think? Maybe is the battery. You might be able to short a battery out, but maybe. You, you don't need a battery to run a car. No. Once it's going, it's the, going. the alternator yeah. will charge everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it, that was so dumb. But whatever, they caught him. Yeah. Then that's when they approach him for. They want him to go. I don't know if it's technically undercover if you're not a cop, but basically, yeah. he gets him and Tyrese will get their records wiped and immunity this and that on everything if they figure out they they can't connect this guy to his money it's what they say mm. so they end up getting a job for this guy and we find out tyrese is hungry <laughs> uh i i like tyrese in this but i i there's sometimes some of the jokes don't really make sense to me Oh yeah. Like I feel like had they spent just a couple extra minutes, there would have been a better line to get across the same point. We hungry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we hungry. Like I so said, our pockets are empty. We hungry. And uh, I don't know. I just I I feel like it, again, just a, a little bit more effort. There could have been something that would have yeah. not felt as goofy. You know. Um. So you know, and and another thing too. And I don't know if maybe they meant to and they didn't. It, almost like a red herring. That freaking uh, the cigar. I don't know what it's called. The cigar cutter. Mm -hmm. That the they, what is that called? I think it might just be a cigar cutter. Well, whatever it is, they put so much emphasis on this thing. I'm thinking, mm -hmm. okay, so at what point in this movie is someone going to lose a finger in this thing? That's what this is going to be. Oh yeah, and nothing. Yeah, I expected that the first time too. And they never did it. Like, they kept yeah. showing it, like, you know, focusing on it, and then even Tyrese, like, stole it, and the dude, like, <laughs> yeah. knew, like, immediately and called him out, and he had to bring it back, yeah. and then nothing. 
He tried to steal it another time too later on in the movie. Oh, did he? I don't remember that. At the club, he's like going to get it off the table, and oh, the guy yeah, catches yeah. him. He's like, "Hey, stop oh, it!" <laughs> I, okay, I thought he was going back for drugs. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm I, pretty sure it was a cigar. I cutter was watching again. this on a small screen. Uh, just on your Apple Watch. Yeah, <laughs> that's the best way. So um, that was funny. Then I'll give it that. But then it's nothing you, after that. Yeah. What'd you think of uh, Eva Mendez, Paul Walker love triangle with uh, uh awful Eva men yeah i didn't Eva, like Eva mendez was fine as an actress but she mm. was the most like careless reckless undercover yeah, as a character yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah like you are deep you know supposedly deep undercover for like 11 months now and we mm-hmm. know this guy is very dangerous and yet you're like showing up at paul walker's house like in the morning and hanging out with him like yeah are you well, that even stupid? When they're they're sitting at the table, just talking about everything out in the open, yeah. and then the guy shows up and he's like, he's talking to him. He's like, "Let's go for a walk." There's ears in the house. And I was like, "Okay, well, they probably overheard everything you guys were saying beforehand." Yeah. Before he showed, you know what I mean? Like there was just no consideration for how serious their situation should have been. <sighs> She, not only was she like openly talking about it, but she was like still like hanging out with the cops at certain points. I'm like, mm-hmm. no, if you're undercover, you're like radio silent for like unless yeah. you're in danger. You know, you don't have you don't can maintain contact with your superiors and you don't like I don't know. It was just so stupid. Well, you do somewhat, but you no, you're right. She was like, like careless about degree. everything. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Yeah. What'd you think of the rat scene with Bobby from Sons of Anarchy? Um, so that was fine. It was interesting. I wonder. <laughs> I've heard that yeah. it's true, but yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Also, right? the guy said that a rat could chew through like lead pipe or steel pipe. Uh, that yeah, steel pipe. I find so. hard to believe, but maybe I don't know. I think over time he meant like I don't think over he means like oh he could just thousand years, <laughs> uh, a con- like a continuing <clears throat> rat chain of of biting will break through like an eighth of an inch of pipe. Maybe I don't know, but but the uh, it's it it seems pretty terrible to imagine having someone put a rat in a bucket on your chest and then heating it up so the rat eats through you to escape like i i believe that would happen well yeah because i'm pretty sure that that is like a real like medieval torture that they Mm -hmm. that people used to do um so this it traumatized me when i was younger when i first saw this (laughs) yeah like you because i would have been was gonna do that to you like it was gonna be more common well like it would (laughs) <laughs> yeah i was worried someone was gonna do it to me Between no i was just like sand? it was it was so creepy like of a uh, torture i was like oh this is like i was not ready for this like where is that is that rat gonna chew all the way through and then just pop out your back <laughs> i don't know probably go out your side oh uh, you think so i think so i mean it can't go out your back because you're laying down uh, but it can chew through pipe. You better believe it'll chew through whatever you're laying down on. <laughs> it's just going to dig a hole straight through the ground. Burrow straight into the ground. <laughs> so that was, yeah, no, that was definitely unsettling. I, I see that. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, I had something else I was going to say. <laughs> I don't know. It was just careless, reckless, and no mention of Vin Diesel's sister. Mm-mm. Jordana Brewster is not in this one. Yeah. Mia. The only no uh, Vin Diesel, and that was a pretty big deal at the time when this came out. People were disappointed Vin Diesel wasn't in this movie. Oh really? Mm-hmm. I, I get why he's not in it. I guess he's doing a much well, better he was job. Doing, uh, laying low than Paul Walker was. He was doing. Um, I want to say Triple X. I think he did Fast and the Furious One. And then Triple X instead of Fast and the Furious Are you sure 2 or 2 Fast and Furious. Uh, the Pacifier? He could have been. It's all around the same time. Or same with Italian the Chronicles Job. of Riddick. Yeah, all those movies. 
But I think uh, Rob Cohen is the director from the first Fast and the Furious, uh-huh. and he did Triple X. Ah. And I think that I think it was like a loyalty thing yeah. for Vin Diesel, where he's like, ah, I'm not going to do the other one because I'm going to do Triple X with you instead. And uh, Paul Walker was just. I don't. I don't think. I don't think it was like a disloyal thing for Paul Walker to do Too Fast, Too Furious because he wasn't no. in Triple X either. We heard. You know I mean? We like, heard. I don't think he was in. Say at the beginning, he needed the money. Needs the money. Um, what did you think of? I like the scatter scene. I thought that was done pretty cool, where they drive into the uh, the warehouse and all the cops chase them, and then all the trucks come out and just plow them out of the way, and all the other guys escape. Yeah, that was decent. Like I thought, that was pretty creative, and they like the w- the thing that I didn't get is the cops were surprised that they switched up cars. Yeah, and that would have been my first assumption. I'm like, oh, they're they're changing cars, guys. Like that's why they got out of our eyesight. But they're like, they just followed the original Whoa. cars, <laughs> and were shocked when it turned out to be Ludacris and Suki. Yeah, it was all those. All the the racers from the the first from the first race, yeah. And I was like, oh, are these guys going to be super willing to help you, and potentially get arrested and maybe shot by a cop? I don't know. This is, I don't buy it. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I feel like they might. Like honestly, I feel like people who are already in that world of, you know, the cops chasing them and them escaping anyways, I feel like it wouldn't be that unreasonable for them to be a part of something like that, like a big heist. Cause the, the, uh, negatives would seem pretty low, you know, like, but they weren't really the likelihood part of a heist. Like there was no reward for them. No, there's no reward, but like being a part of a caper, I guess, like, you know, a, messing with the police and scattering all over and like it would almost be like an exciting thing to do for someone that you like more yeah like i think i think you could get a lot of people on board with doing it if you're already in that community type of thing yeah maybe because it was ludicrous who set it all up right that's true who runs everything basically um uh, I, I'm trying to remember what else I had. So well, then there's the 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 ejector button. Oh jeez. Or the the driving backwards. Oh yeah, way back before when he's flipping them off on the highway. I like. I thought that. I thought like again, like with them between Paul Walker and Tyrese joking around like that. I thought that those were pretty strong moments, but. This has some of the worst driving action and stunts in any of the movies. Oh, what about the fact that uh, there was no mention of the dude who most assuredly died when he got rammed in between the two uh, diesels on the way back? <laughs> and, yeah, and got ran over by him. That wheel, no, he's definitely dead. The wheels went straight over where his body used to be. He yeah. was so crushed that there was there <laughs> emotionally. Would be, yeah, he was so upset. There is no way you that they would ever even that? identify that guy. That your dad did that? So, <laughs> yeah, sort of. My dad did it the other way, but almost the same thing. Um, that so that Mustang got ran over. Uh-huh. Right, it went underneath the back of the semi. But then there's a Corvette that slams into the back of it and flips over. Mm -hmm. That was a legit accident. Oh, really? Yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Huh. That that Corvette that hit him was uh, just, I don't know, didn't see it coming or didn't get out of the way quick enough and ended up flipping over. Wow. Huh. Okay. Still hate this movie. (laughs) But 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 yeah, so they crushed. Paul Walker and Tyrese end up saving the girl, getting the money, helping the cops, restoring their names, clearing their records, and still walking away with their pockets full of a bunch of cash that they stole from the cops. Because they hungry. I thought, because no, they're not hungry anymore. Oh, they're always hungry. I want to talk about (laughs) how stupid that last little mission was, though. So 
the guy Cole Hauser mm-hmm. already has guys working for him, right? We saw them throughout the whole movie. Yes. Why? And then, and then, so the the mission. I I don't even know if I fully understand what the mission was. They are transporting money from one place to an airstrip. Yes. The dude was at but the airstrip. It's actually to a boat. They transport to the boat. So yeah, no, you're right. Had they not made a big deal about running this money and hiring guys to do it, you so they just do it quickly. Done it yourself. Well, yeah, the them preparing to do this mission is what got the heat on them. Yeah, had they just secretly, like, it's not like they're getting pulled over and shaken down every day. Right. They could have went and with just you know uh, a duffel bag and filled it full of money toss it in their car and gone and taken it to wherever and not drove around like crazy people yeah, and not get chased been by the cops. under the radar with a boring looking car driving the speed limit. Uh, but my, my whole thing is, so then he takes his two guys and has each one, you know, ride with Paul Walker and Tyrese, right? Mm-hmm. Why not just have those guys move your money? Well, cause they, he wanted people with skills. What Those skills do you need to drive? Driving skills. Do you see him? All the stunts they did, all the evasion, all the running. But that's all so unnecessary. It wasn't in this movie. They used all their skills, Taylor. Stop. So many skills. Don't defend this. Don't. <laughs> oh, it was so dumb. No, but yeah, the plan should have been. Let's uh, do this quiet, and we don't need to do this fast. Let's just get the money and we don't do need it. to be fast and furious about it. Yeah, but yeah, no, I this is this is overall one of the weaker ones in the entire franchise. What's your what's your rating for this? You gave the Fast and the Furious a negative two out of negative five to five. What what do you give this one? Negative three. Oof. This it's, one I'll give a zero. It's much worse. It was just I, so stupid. Yeah. I'll give this one a zero. Maybe a negative one. It uh the the CGI stuff really ruins it for me, but it's not like I don't hate watching it. Like oh. I watched it and I was like, oh, this is fine. It's just whatever. It's not good, but it's not terrible. The last twenty minutes of the movie were the longest twenty minutes of my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt that. Oh, it have you never like, talked to Joshua for twenty minutes? Yeah, that's way worse. So that just goes to say how bad this was. <laughs> oh well, next week we're gonna do Tokyo Drift, oh. correct? <laughs> I'll do these, but I can only do one at a time. One at a time. I can- because they're all well, I, I can already tell they're all gonna blend together. Yeah, maybe a little bit. But it'll get it they get better, I promise. Once we get number three, once we get to number four, it'll pick up. Oh, I just don't believe you at all. <laughs> but uh yeah, so we'll we'll be back next week with uh Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. If you want to listen to that now, if you're watching this on the podcast. Uh, you can go over to Patreon, and for a dollar, you can get access to all our episodes a week in advance. And uh, like us on Twitter at I Seen That Pod, or follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and we'll be back soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah.